The black widow spider is one of two common venomous spiders here in San Diego County, the other one being the brown recluse spider. These spiders are fairly common around areas where human beings are, especially things like woodsheds, wood piles, garages, and areas like that that attract insects for them to eat. The female is much larger than the male and, in fact, much longer lived. Most male black widow spiders only live one year or into one breeding season. The female will generally eat the male after she has received the sperm packet from the male and the eggs have been fertilized. The spider that we're going to photograph is right down in here underneath these logs and stuff. She's hiding in the shade and in fact she's hanging upside down. She looks like she's a gravid female which means that she's full of eggs and ready to complete the life cycle. So now what I'm going to do is very carefully with a stick of course lift up some of the leaf litter that's clinging to the bottom of this rock and hopefully expose the spiders. Never do this with your bare hands. These spiders are extremely venomous, ounce for ounce. Their venom is much more potent than that of a rattlesnake. However, the size of the animal, they won't give you nearly as much venom as a rattlesnake will. And there she is if you, with her red hourglass shaped design on her abdomen. So what we are looking at is the underside of a female black widow spider. She's an arachnid. She has eight legs. Her body is divided in two main parts, a cephalothorax and an abdomen. The cephalothorax is a is one structure that, that contains the head and the thorax. And then, of course, the abdomen is where all the eggs, etc., come from. And so right now I'm going to point with a stick at her abdomen, and you can see the red hourglass right there. She's actually being very good right now, kind of just hanging out and letting us photograph her. We're now looking at the, the top of her abdomen, if you will. And as you can see, she's got eight legs. Whoops. Four legs per side. And then you'll see two smaller structures that come out of the, the front of her head. Those are pedipalps. They look like legs, but they're actually modified mouth parts that the spider uses to manipulate food while eating. So she's in a defensive mode right now. She doesn't know what's going on. She doesn't know if I'm a predator or what. She's starting to become a little bit agitated. So I'm going to keep my fingers far away from her to avoid an accidental bite. She has spinnerets on the back of her abdomen, just like all spiders do. And that, of course, has the silk producing glands within them. And that's how spiders spin webs. But also as a method of locomotion, Spiders will spin webs and drop from them, and so we're hoping when she gets to the end of the stick, she'll drop down to the ground using her, sp her web. There she goes. Her abdomen is absolutely swollen with eggs. It looks like she might lay her eggs at any moment now.